Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Oh, lovely, lovely. Has it really been two days since I posted uh, a Megan uh, and Harry video? It says two days, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like it, does it? Anyway, so we're back today uh, and we're going to take a, a look at, you know, I want to know where Mr. Michael is, okay? Uh, when I watched his, uh, his video, uh, it said Thursdays and Sundays or Thursdays and Saturdays. I can't remember, but anyway, it was uh, like two nights a, a week. So we've heard nothing since, okay? Uh, and so, yeah, that's what we're going to do, okay? <laughs> right, let's get into it. Uh What's happened? Oh, I'll shuffle again in front of you. I, I do anyway, but it doesn't matter. You see cards? I don't see cards. Okay, Mr. Markle. Uh, so let's have a look then. It's not a, an is it true, is it? It's a... Uh, uh, why hasn't uh, Mr. Markle posted? Because, I don't know whether he's got an interview uh, coming up, but I've got something uh, big. I also see success uh, as well, uh, and travelling, okay, so maybe he's had to, maybe he's been busy doing uh, interviews, okay, uh, maybe he has. I feel for him, he does feel like uh, the YouTube uh, was successful, okay? Uh, so it's obviously brought him some kind of opportunity, okay? Uh, we'll look at uh, that, it'll come out uh, in a bit. But yeah, so right now, you know, uh, he's on top of the world. He is on top of the world, okay? Oh, don't say you've got a date, Mr. Marco. <laughs> a date. <laughs> uh, but do you know what? So what? He's got. He, no matter what, he's still got a big heart, and you can see that. Do you know uh, whether you agree uh, 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 with him? Sorry about you know doing interviews and this that, and the event. Whether you agree or not, you still can't deny that this guy, uh, you know, uh, he is. He's bloody harmless. I can't imagine him, uh, you know, losing his rag at all. I really, really uh, can't. And even when he's giving uh, his harshest opinion uh, of Harry, you know, it remains not much more than a ginge. So... Why hasn't he? Because he's busy. He's very busy. He's gone somewhere. Uh, that it's a success. I think there's an interview. Uh, you know, something big coming up. What's the truth of uh, you know Mr. Markle's situation uh, in relation uh, to his daughter? Okay, maybe I've got the wrong daughter. Oh, shit, I should have said, sh shouldn't I? But hang on a minute, which one do you want me to think about? I think that's uh, Sir Samantha, okay. Uh, I see somebody being uh, very confident. And I see Mr. Markle, you know, very uh, confident uh, as well, okay. Uh, very confident in a situation. So I do feel like somebody uh, is either interviewing him. Oh, go on, Oprah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you, you might find, uh, you know, you'll get some self-respect back, uh, you know, for those two fucking idiots. They've cost everybody dearly. Why the fuck would you get involved with them in the first place? Oh, I was fucking horrified today. <gasps> I was horrified. Oh, my God. I'm on a list. I'm on some fucker's list with all the rest of them. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just what I don't need. <laughs> Anyway, I've been working it out, and in the court of law, I think everybody would have a good fucking laugh, okay? I'd be good for the spirit of the justice system. So even if uh, I was found to have done something wrong, uh, I'm sure they'll forgive me, because the universe does. <laughs> oh, yeah, that fucking list, honestly, it killed me off. My husband uh, said I went a, a, a whiter shade of fucking uh, grey. <laughs> oh, dear. 
so yeah i get somebody else speaking uh, out as well so i don't feel like there'll be somebody there this could be Simone fair because she does seem to come across uh very you know confident in what she's saying okay and you'll only ever be confident like that if you're telling the truth So, you know, uh, because of the, you know, channel, uh, has uh, Thomas heard anything from Megan uh, since he's done that interview, you know? Well, I, I definitely think he's heard from Daria. Okay, I definitely think uh, he's heard uh, from Daria because as far as I'm concerned, you know, I mean, she may have a checkered passport, you know, there's no, uh, there's no denying that Daria loves her daughter, okay, uh, loves her uh, daughter, so I don't feel Daria is heard from Daria, maybe this is giving him a, a bit of hope, okay, Uh who knows whether it'll work out. We will see as we go through. And yeah, she might have had parties and she might have smoked wacky fucking back eh? But so what? She's no fucking different to anybody else in that age group uh, and culture, okay? It was all love and peace up here uh, in the 60s, you know? Uh, all smoking a bit of weed and uh, stuff like that. So, you know, uh, it's not just now. Okay, so I've got uh, two positive women here. Okay, two positive uh, women. Two women, two women. So I can only think, Sam. Look, whatever it is, I'm going to tell you now. Uh, it's not bad, okay? Well, it's not bad the reason he, he's coming on, okay? And I hope uh, Daria, because he did say before that he hadn't heard from uh, Daria. It's like she just uh, disappeared, okay? Uh, and maybe he would be used to that behaviour, you know? Uh, maybe it's happened in the past, maybe once, maybe twice, maybe more, okay? Okay, where are we? <laughs> where the fuck are we? Okay, so, you know, yeah, what's the truth of this situation? Is that, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Michael is very confident, okay? Confident and confident for his daughter. Uh, and now we've got the mother. Of course, it could never be said uh, that Megan has uh, contacted daddy uh, directly. If she had a conversation with him, okay, if she saw him face to face, it would bring the love back, it really would, and that's why she can't face him, okay? But believe me, Megan, you will fucking uh, rule the day that you, you've done this because your own mind will haunt you uh, about it, okay? And if he dies uh, now, you she, you would be tormented for the rest of your life. No, nobody, nothing can take uh, that away, okay? And she's hardly, uh, she can't deal with anxiety or criticism or pressure. And those are all things that she would uh, pose for herself. The most decent thing to do and the easiest way uh, to get their fucking likability uh, back up would be to make peace with the families. And it's as simple as that, okay? Oh, yeah, don't fucking all come at me saying they, de they, they don't deserve it, they don't deserve it. Look, you're sat there and it just matters to you in a minuscule, okay? I'm seeing the fucking royal family and then I'm seeing them being ruined and then I'm seeing, like, uh, UK being fucking uh, ruined and I'm seeing uh, Thomas die, you know, and it's fucking ruined. Everything is ruined, 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 no matter what you do. The only one thing you can do is make peace and that's it make peace you don't have to stay in a relationship and, and see him every fucking uh, week but make your peace uh, and mean it you know because people fuck up people fuck up all the time don't they and i'm standing up for you guys here because we've all fucked up okay we've all fucked up at, at some point uh that's the whole point of learning 
and exactly why we're here okay so maybe given 150 years <laughs> we'll, we'll forget about all uh, the shape but you know no it would make it uh, easy on every fucker okay uh so what don't we know then what don't uh, we know uh between about uh mr michael You know, um, well, I do, uh, what don't we know uh, about Mr. Michael? So I'm kind of getting, you know, that because of certain things, like in his life, maybe his health, uh, maybe having to, uh, you know, go to the lawyers or what have you, to help his sister, uh, his daughter uh, and all that, uh, it makes him unreliable. So, you know, it's not that he lacks commitment. It's that it just makes it uh, unreliable uh, and a one-off. And I think it's every time he feels like, uh, you know, getting some off his chest. Uh, and why not uh, as well? But I can tell you now, uh, you know, Daddy is not happy with um, Prince Harry. And I can understand, and male or female, uh, you know, you should encourage your partner uh, to love their family and at least go see them, you know, uh, once in a while. Uh, you should do. You shouldn't really have to, but, you know, if you should do, then you should. So anybody who's keeping you away from your mum, your dad, your fucking kid, or anybody else, have a look at them. Have a fucking real look at them, OK? Uh, because they're not they're not the right choice okay and they will cause you more and more uh, pain uh, later down the line and you will feel like you can never go back you can never go back but you'll be stuck because you'll struggle to go uh, forward you know okay 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 so that's what we don't uh, know. That's what we don't know. Uh, intended uh, actions and so what action does uh, Thomas Michael, uh, you know, mean to take uh, with his relationship with Meghan via interviews, via uh, channel, you know, because he's talking to her. That's what he's doing. He's trying to get uh, a, a dialogue going. So what's his intended actions towards Megan? So I, I'm getting maybe something, uh, you know, maybe what's his uh, intended action uh, towards uh Megan, so obviously we've got a loss of finances here, okay, uh, and he believes she's caused it as well. So he does feel, uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he comes out with a story out of, uh, but you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me if he's saying, "Well, you're responsible uh, for this. You're uh, responsible." As well, I mean, do you know what? It's a bit, uh, I have to say, it's a bit out there. But I'm seeing like a, a movie, movie deal, you know, maybe a movie uh, uh, on uh, Megan's uh, life and that, well, of course not that they want to act, but, uh, you know, give as much uh, detail uh, as possible. So uh, I, could, I could see Mr. Michael quite liking that because, for so many years he was in the lighting industry you know uh filming others and so knowing their process would be like a pleasure uh trip for him okay down memory lane how will this uh, uh affect uh megan you know how will his actions uh you know we all know uh there's a battle now uh a court case but you know, or just whatever it is, a civil hearing, I don't know. Um, but yeah, how will it affect, uh, how will Thomas Markle's uh, actions affect Meghan Markle? Do you know 
know, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm going to ask uh, again. So we're going to go for uh, support and reassurance. Do you know what? I think. Uh, I do see a, a child. I do uh, see a, a child. Somebody's reassuring him. Do you know what? It's you see at the end of the day, Megan's his uh, daughter, his youngest uh, child. Okay, um, and you cannot blame him for still loving his daughter. Okay, that's why he stays off her, don't he? If you noticed in the uh, video, uh, it'll have been Harry uh, who, who got the uh, brunt of it. And whenever Megan was mentioned, uh, he was uh, quite, uh, well, there was a lot of stuff he didn't say. Okay. Megan is behaving like she was 15 again, you know, wailing, crying, stamping her foot, making uh, demands, you know, uh, uh, and obviously using uh, Doria uh, as a go-between. So let's have a look. What was the last fucking conversation? Oops. Uh, Markle, Thomas Markle had with Doria. I think he's getting his way. I, I, do you know what? I really hope uh, that, you know, he, he's getting his uh, way, okay? And that could be the, the thing that as well, uh, you know, it, it was a success, okay? Just going out there maybe uh, and staring at the, the boat. But also, uh, you know, Doria would have had to talk some sense into Megan, okay? So I'm not... Look, I'm seeing two kids. I think uh, he's going to get to see them. I really, really uh, do. That's what Mr. Michael wanted, uh, you know, all uh, along, really. How does Megan feel about her dad? Oh dear, oh dear, 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 dear. So we've got YouTube, so she watched it, she's watched it, she didn't watch it once, she watched it a couple of times, okay. Uh, sticking two fucking fingers up to her dad there. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, definitely uh, she doesn't want him on there, doesn't want him talking, okay. Uh, doesn't want him dropping air in it, okay. So I kind of... Uh, I'm seeing two children as well, okay, so if I'm seeing them, is Thomas seeing them, okay, is Thomas seeing uh, the, the thing, she saw him on a, you know, look, I, I don't think, she's not upset, okay, there's no fucking nine of sauce, there's no three of sauce, there's no, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, reversed on, on any of them, you have got a, a card that is to be trusted, how does she feel about her dad, she saw him on YouTube, she trusts him. Which brings me to uh, an uncomfortable question. Is, uh, you know, Sam and uh, Mark, uh, Thomas and Megan, are they all in it together? Are they all in it together? They are not at war. They are not at war at all. They're not at war. I'm sorry to say this, you know. I mean, I've always had a sneaky uh, suspicion that something just doesn't ring uh, right. So, you know, are they all in it together? Well, this is social fucking media. So you've got one on Twitter, uh, one taken off Twitter. Uh, you've got uh, YouTube. I don't know. I still think she controls them both. Be clear. Be clear, please. You know, because I'm getting uh, all in uh, moderation, okay? All in moderation. So what they do, you know, have you noticed? Uh, I think a few people have actually uh, noticed the fact that 
every now and again they just pop up for uh you know and then they so sort of like disappear for a bit don't they and i know what you're saying oh she got kicked off twitter and this and the other but you know not always what you fucking see is happening okay and there's great science fucking projects on the internet uh, that will with one fucking sweep i can't think of any right now but you know we'll show you that sometimes what you'll see uh, and how you'll perceive things is not actually real i dare one of you to uh, get me to find a fucking <laughs> experiment <laughs> i think we get the point okay i think we get the point right okay so royal uh, uh as well Is Megan, uh, you know, is Megan in touch with her father uh, directly? Well, I'm going to say that's a, an absolute no, okay? Uh, a, an absolute no, it's not directly, which is probably why he's heard from uh, the, the Doria. She probably won't be happy uh, with her daddy uh, for, for criticising uh, his hair, okay, his hair. So they're not in touch uh, directly. So let's have a look. Are they in touch indirectly? Please tell us. You fucking better believe it. You absolutely better uh, be believe it. Believe it, okay. You've got the sun there, you know, uh, California uh, uh, as well. But Mexico's quite warm as well, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, you better uh, believe it. Indirectly, so that could be, though, uh, you know, Dory giving updates uh, to Thomas. Uh, because I doubt she would be in touch with uh, Thomas's other children. So indirectly, yes, and it's a happy conversation. It's happiness, okay? It's happiness. You got to remember, this isn't a normal life. This is a fucking pantomime, okay? In fact, it's not. It's a goddamn fucking horror show. It is, though, isn't it? You know. So he is in touch, he is getting, uh, you know, uh, updates. Have you noticed people are careful when they're asking him, have you heard from Megan? Have you seen the grandchildren? You know, uh, watch for, for those uh, questions, okay? Are we going to, uh, you know, what, what will... Uh, Will uh, Thomas let us know that he's been successful, okay, uh, in getting to see his uh, children and talks are, are ongoing? No. <laughs> no. No. Fucking no. No, 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 no. So they're not going to come forward. Doesn't mean to say it's not going to happen. We've got all those there, okay? So uh, he's got no choice. He's got to be uh, silenced, okay? He's got to be silenced, okay? Uh, and I kind of feel, uh, you know, Sam will be silenced too. Now, I did say in Sam's, don't really see it, you know, going uh, anywhere. Uh, a lot of people said, well, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, I talk absolute fucking bullshit until it comes true. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it, I feel he's got no choice. He cannot fucking say anything. Uh, will uh, Mr. Michael come back on our YouTube screens anytime soon? Do you know what? I'm kind of getting uh, unlikely here, okay, unlikely. But I also see that there could be uh, two, two channels, two channels, okay, two channels. Uh, just in case one got kicked off, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, 
I tell you what, I would have liked to have known uh, about his uh, life, you know, uh, his career. Uh, how Megan, in a nice days, you know, would join him and uh, their lovely uh, relationship. I would love to hear uh, about that, you know. Uh, I really, really would because it doesn't matter. But being a parent, you're not going to get it uh, 100%, okay? Never, 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 never. And he's seen what we've done to our fucking kids, eh? So, we, you know, because we had to uh, get our fingers wrapped at school and a belt and a buckle and uh, your, your dad's slipper or what have you. Because uh, we had to go and find work at 13, uh, even younger uh, in my case. Uh, you know, I mean, then you, you sort of like raise your own children to where... They can't take pressure, you know. They've never had to do anything, you know. Even fucking getting up for school, you know. Uh, I, I did that. I'm sure many uh, parents do as well. Otherwise, you know, we're boys. They just want to lay there, don't they? And girls, they're much worse. <laughs> so, yeah, I think uh, generations, okay. I would have liked to have known about uh, his generations. Okay, so uh, one last card then. Uh, one last card. What next? Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? What next? What next for Thomas uh, Marco? But you could actually uh, say, uh, talk about you know mental health uh and despair and about getting help and how he hopes maybe you know his uh daughter uh could as well don't forget right up and this is what's next okay this isn't what's fucking happening okay uh he's quite happy like he's on top of the fucking world uh he's got uh you know he's confident okay there's nothing truly uh bad and i see the two children okay archie and lilibet I mean, it's cruel, isn't it? It is cruel uh, not to let grandparents uh, see their children. I get on my soapbox about it, and I have done so uh, a few times. <coughs> so I'll leave it today. Um, do you know what? I think it maybe uh, Thomas will talk about somebody who can't see what they have, what an opportunity, uh, what a life it could be. You know, uh, uh, and that certain things are getting in the way uh, and making uh, Megan very unhappy, okay? Uh, unhappy. And, so, you know, I kind of feel like uh, he may say somebody doesn't care. Somebody uh, doesn't uh, care, okay? Somebody doesn't care. So I think that's what he's going to talk about uh, uh, in a big interview, maybe. Is uh, Mr. Michael going to do a big interview? You can fucking believe it. You can believe it, okay? Harry's going to get it. Uh, Harry's going to get it. Harry's going to get it. Uh, but, yeah, uh, uh, and as well, uh, uh, you know, I think this is something uh, that Mr. Michael wants to do. And he wants, uh, you know, I don't know. He's got his wishes here, and he's, I know his wishes uh, is that he can see the children, okay? Uh, so I think he'll be uh, happy uh, with that as well. I don't know, maybe because uh, when you carry sorrow with you and anger, actually, it does affect your facial uh, muscles. And I just see with him, uh, you know, a, a lighter. Uh, a lighter uh, uh, thingy. So he hadn't been in touch with uh, Megan directly. So the whole uh, I ate my father thing has been uh, kind of genuine up to a certain point. Yeah, he's not allowed to talk uh, about it. If he wants to see the kids, uh, he has to shut up. Sam has to shut up. Uh, you know, and that's easy, isn't it? Put pressure on your dad to put pressure on his other daughter. Uh, and the other daughter, Sam, will know how important it means uh, to Thomas. And so she will sacrifice that. Uh, 
Well, all I know, uh, you know, is that he will do a, a, a tell all. Okay, there will be like a, another interview. Okay, uh, and this is to come. It's not anything like what he's done before. You know, I can see him on the screen uh, as well. So maybe uh, a TV, something TV. Will Me Megan ever reconcile with her dad? Even if it's just privately, okay? Even if it's just privately. No. It's, it's, uh, it's Daria, this. This is Daria, okay? This is Daria. He's doing a, an interview. Uh, Daria's in the mix, okay? Uh, he's been told to shut up uh, uh, as well. The, the temperance is all about uh, body, uh, mind, finances, drink, drugs, moderation. Uh, so I feel all sorts of things kind of been talked uh, about. Indirectly, you know, he's getting messages. Uh, is Thomas, he's getting messages. I think uh, his YouTube could go from strength to strength if he uh, allows it. So the reason he hasn't so far then is because he's uh, busy. Because you know what, right? When you sit there and you think, oh, yeah, life must be like this. Even for a famous person, it isn't, you know. Uh, they still have to wash their own ass. Uh, they still have to flush their chain. Uh, they still have to go put petrol in the fucking car. Well, most of them do anyway. Uh, but, you know, yeah, it's not as glamorous uh, uh, as you would think. She's never going to uh, give up. She just wants him to, to shut up, I'm afraid. She wants him to shut up, I'm afraid. I don't see her uh, really angry with him, OK? I don't see uh, loving him either, but uh, I don't feel like uh, it's as, as bad as it is, OK? I mean... It's like me saying to my husband, if I fell out with, with me son or my dad, uh, will you just check that he's all right, you know? Uh, have you heard from him? Has he said anything? So I kind of get those kind of uh, conversations between Daria uh, and Megan uh, as well. Why is he doing this to me? Why is he doing that? You know, but in some respects, you know, I'm not feeling this is not... It's not, not a shock. It's just not a shock, okay, for, for whatever reason, okay. And I see him happy, uh, I, I really do, so uh, bless him. But yeah, uh, we'll wait and see then, you know. We'll wait and see when he comes out with anything else. But I do say that uh, he can't do it or commit every week. I just think things uh, change and his health day to day uh, changes. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, that's it. So, I don't know. What next on Megan's part for a dad? And then we'll leave it at that. Meeting. Meeting. Agreement. Agreeing. Okay. Uh, agreeing. Okay. Uh, agreeing. So, uh, two little kids there, look. Uh, oh, bless. Uh, and... Uh, I, you know, I'm grateful that she's offering kindness, okay, offering uh, kindness. I'm fucking grateful, whether it's secret, uh, not secret, you know, whatever, uh, for him uh, to see those uh, children, okay. Uh, and, well, we'll see, won't we? So, we'll see. So, what I expect to happen will be uh, that if this is going to uh, come to fruition, that he doesn't talk about her anymore. And that Sam don't go through with her uh, thing. And that is where the pressure comes from. Not from stalkers uh, and this, that and the other. But of her own family. Anyway, guys, uh, you know, take that as it is. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you never know. You never know. Okay. Uh, there's always hope for us. So. Okay, guys, I'm going to go now. Uh, thank you very much. And I'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye now. Bye-bye.